Good evening and welcome back to Resident Evil 4 on to episode 5 today. First of all we are going to take some health, so we're going to increase our overall health with the green, red and yellow mixed herbs. Just trying to get myself familiar with this uh, this part. I do know certain, I mean I know this game very very well. So now you can't open this gate yet. What you want to do is, you can ring this bell. And then what you've got to do is shoot the glass. There we go. That opens the gate. But what I would suggest is that you actually come around to this bit first. And when you just get to that end of that corridor there, there's this room in here. It's safe. Well, I say it's safe. There is a snake, I believe, in... No, it's not there. I swear I haven't made it up. There is a snake in here somewhere. And just for info, yes, there was a snake. It was in this one here. Get a red gem. And also, just for later, what you want to do is just smash that lock. But we're not going to go there. We're going to go back to where the, uh, the iron gate was lifted. And what I would say is have yourself fully prepared for this. Have your guns all reloaded if you can. Or at least fully stocked. Hopefully you might have a incendiary grenade or flash grenade. Something like that. Maybe may be useful. It's not necessary, but you'll see why. these guys I hate these guys <laughs> I can see you dead what you want to do now is well what you don't want to do is do that did all the hard work and then I rushed it <laughs> never mind I have to go around the other side you want to make sure you get uh, get the money off him there we go and then we can take this and I think what we'll do is we'll take another one of these health boosts just because we uh, got damage there and then we can just go for the next door now after you've come through this new room you drop down and you operate this lever that will release uh, a pathway I believe yep gotta be careful when you go back up I think there's something on here yeah here we go Shotgun time. And then what we'll do is we'll run past them, and this way they're all coming in one direction rather than being surrounded. There we go. Now, on harder difficulties, there's more enemies around. Now what you want to do is go down to the left here, however, you may want to come back to this in a little bit, in a little bit afterwards. See there's a rocket launcher here, but as you can see there's not enough room for the rocket launcher. Good news is, is that there is a merchant just around the corner, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll go to him, maybe sell a few things, and then come back here. And the best news of all, he's actually got the XL attacher case, so we'll take that straight away. So that's massively increased that. Has he got anything else new? No, he hasn't, but we'll go back for that rocket launcher. And as you can see, just getting the attacher case and then the rocket launcher, we've still got a fair bit of space now, so a little bit of extra room to play with. Leon, I got it. I have 
the sample. You serve me no purpose. Sadler! My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. Stay with me, Lewis. I am a researcher hired by Sadler. He found out what I was up to. <laughs> Don't talk. Here. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. Lewis! Lewis! So unfortunately our friend Lewis has died and if you look here well, we're going to collect a few things first. So that's obviously to stop you from uh, forgetting about her and running to the next the next area. Which we're not going to do, we're just casually collecting ammo. Now what you've got to do here, and this can be a little bit tricky if she doesn't have the armor on, this little part. But you've basically got to shoot these three rings that are around her. You've got to be very careful if she doesn't have the armor on. But it's probably best to use the sniper rifle normally. near-death experience. Ashley, get out of there! Go ahead, so go ahead. So and again, we don't have to worry as much as normal because they can't even pick her up. So we're just going to take some shots at them when they come through. Again, sniper rifles, perfect for this normally, but we're in no rush really. leave that red nine with no bullets in. Hopefully there'll be a merchant soon. Maybe you've been a bit too casual with this one. Should be it now. And this is the bit that I touched on in a previous episode. I mentioned the fact that you get to play as a different character at some point, and that is Ashley. Now the difference with this sort of area is that you don't actually have any weapons, so it's all about contextual items that you can use and avoiding the enemies and there's puzzles along the way too. Now remember, you can't really be here because you've got the suit of armor on. So, what we're going to do is, just to show you, you want to pick up as many items as well. You can actually crawl under things, so you can sort of lure them one way and crawl. And there's also these lumps um, that you can throw at them. And I believe it takes two hits. So we're going to throw another one straight away, and that should be him dead. But by no means is he the last enemy. So he's dropped that, which is nice. And again, you want to just go around checking everything. 
So we can crawl under here and open this door. It's a little bit slow. And you just want to kind of rinse and repeat with the, the other enemies until you get through all of the rooms. Now into the next room, it's a little bit puzzly this bit, so you want to push this open first, I mean it's not, you know, massively taxing, it's just about pressing switches, so we'll go through here, and you've got to press another switch to open the next one, it's just about working your way through. I do think this area is very creepy. It's very, the lighting is great, the sound, these figures, it's creepy. And this is another puzzle, which I'm normally not very good with. It's a relatively simple one. It's one of these tiles that you get where there's one piece missing and you have to move them around. There are plenty of guides out there what to do, but you can always follow what I do on this. And then what you need to do is just put the last piece in to complete it. Now, as soon as you take this, you've got to be ready to run. And this is what I mean about being creepy. And when you don't have the armor, this is definitely more terrifying, but basically you just got to sprint way back through. Get ready for prompts. Again, just sprint your way through and there should be just one last one, as far as I'm aware. And then you want to head in this room. And then we just head back up top. Now again, just check for any items before you go to the next section. The Ashley section is only very short. It's a nice sort of change up of pace. And a little bit more strategy than all out shooting or action.
done. Ashley! <clears throat> you did good. I'm sorry if I was... Oh, don't worry about it. Come on, let's move on. Ah, oh, what a touching moment we have here. All spoiled thanks to your interruption. Why don't you do us all a favor and leave before the audience gets pissed off? <laughs> You're nothing but an extra in my script, so don't get too carried away. Your biggest scene is over. I don't ever remember being a part of your crappy script. Well then, why don't you show me what a first-class script is like through your own actions? There we go, so we're back here again. So, a few things. Now, the path we're supposed to go is on a different route we haven't been before, which is up north. However, if you remember me saying, there was a very useful item that we couldn't get until we had Ashley. So you want to head back to go and get that. Now, you are backtracking and some of the enemies will have respawned. We have been back to the merchant and increased the ammo capacity of our Red 9 because we got that down to zero bullets, which is what we intended to do. We've also sold the rocket launcher because we don't believe we're going to need that for a while and we kind of need the space for any item pickup. So we're just going to dash through to try and get that, uh, that special item that I was talking about. Now, as you can see, the enemies are back, but what you can do, I'm just going to get my bearings. Yeah, I want to go through here, then left. Kind of just want to dash through if we can. Although, oh, God. Um, yeah, let's just dash through. Again, just follow the map until that, uh, to get to that start. And then when you get to this bit, you should get a prompt when you get near. And there we go, it's unlocked. And here we go, the broken butterfly. There's also a few other things in here. You get a gun, you get a special uh, item that you can sell, you get the gold. Got lots of stuff in here, which is really, really good. Question is, do we keep the broken butterfly? Um, many people argue over which are the best weapons in the game, and a lot of it's down to personal preference. So for example, the riot gun is brilliant. It's got a bit longer range than the, uh, the striker, which is one of the other shotguns that we haven't unlocked yet, but we will get later on. And the strike is my favourite because when it's fully maxed out, it's got a special upgrade that to me makes it um, extremely useful. So some weapons have special upgrades. So when you've upgraded all of the power, the accuracy, the ammo, all of that stuff, you've got then a special final upgrade that you can only purchase once you've purchased the other ones. It can make some of the guns really overpowered in a really fun way. Yeah, now there are some that are just out and out great, like the rifle, there's only two rifles. This is clearly better than the uh, the bolt action one that you have. There are a couple of Magnum type guns. You know, there's plenty of stats out there and people that believe certain ones are, are better than others. We might be able to compare them later on and, and have a look. But what we'll do is we'll just head back to the previous area. We're gonna just try and avoid the enemies and continue the journey. So like I say, I mean, we could take these guys out. But I think just for the sake of ammo and... Uh, actually, I might have to take them out. Damn, didn't think of that. Nope, that's alright. Let's go. Right, we're going to go this way. And there you go. Managed to avoid them. And we're now back in the room where Louise died, so we're just going to head through to the next part. And there's actually two ways you can go. We're going to go the top way first. Wait here.
Now what you want to do in this bit is just go straight out to your sniper. You can take these out pretty much as soon as you want. The earlier the better really. There we go. There's one there. Now if you don't get those earlier, they will cause you trouble. Basically breathe fire and they can move around. So I've got to be a little bit careful in this bit. What I'm going to do is get my sniper rifle back out. And... Yep, head this way. Uh, I think shotgun time, why not? So yeah, anyway, sniper rifle time now. Shoot these. I suppose it takes a couple of shots on each. Like I say, I think the key to this one is just avoiding getting close to them. It's been plenty of times I've died or taken damage or panicked a little bit. You know, once you get used to it, it's relatively simple. And if you've got the sniper rifle with plenty of bullets, you can't go too wrong. you just got to manage the few enemies that are on the ground. So what we'll do is we'll just head back to Ashley. Make sure you pick up the items before you head to the next section. And we're just going to head down here in a second. Again, always just double check you're getting all the items that you can. And if you recognize this place, this is where all the missing pieces were. And we've got all three now. Again, you always want to just check behind you in case there's any secret items anywhere.
So we'll head this door in the right here. And we've got the good old merchant again. We'll see if he's got any new stock in. So there are some nice new upgrades in. I am going to upgrade the capacity of the Red Nine. Is that all strange? <laughs> Thank you. We're not going to upgrade the Broken Butterfly. Nor the shotgun. Is that all <laughs> Sniper rifle. Is that Definitely all a yes. I'm not going to do the reload speed yet. We'll see how we are. Is that all stranger? <laughs> Capacity, yes. It's about half full. I'm going to take that. Now, TMP, the next capacity is 150. I think we've got just under 100 bullets, so we're going to leave that for now. Is that all but definitely upgrade the firepower. <laughs> and that's it. In terms of what are the best upgrades, firepower for certain, then firing speed. I mean, they're pretty much in order. I would say reloads. Reload speed is probably the worst. Not the worst, just the one you should least prioritize. Firepower, yes. Firing speed, yes. Capacity, yes in certain situations. Like I say, that trick about getting your ammo down to as low as possible. So I would say that's only important when you're at a certain point. Reload speed you can manage. You can manage by having multiple weapons and if you're in the middle of a fight and you can't reload or there's plenty of enemies, quickly go on the menu, switch to another weapon, it's quicker than reloading. But we're going to leave it there for this week in the nice friendly confines of the merchant's room. Got a fair bit of money, the weapons are increasing, the story is starting to move at a bit of a pace now. We're going to see some new areas up and coming, some more bosses, some more tricky bosses than we've seen previously. So I hope you can all join me for that one. And as always, really appreciate you guys supporting me. Not just watching, but anyone that can interact, you know, comment and like the video and all of that sort of stuff. But yeah, join me next time. Cheers.